Hello, my friends. A lot to cover today. We got two games. We're going to update you on the progression of one of our youngsters. We're going to talk about Liverpool. I got a new contract. They wouldn't accept any changes. We'll talk about that. The reputation of our league has gone down. But most of all, my friends, we know who we're playing in the Europa League. Let's get it done. All right, my friends, welcome back in. I can't remember what episode number it is, but hi. Thanks for being here. Um, like I said, a lot to cover, so we're going to get raw to it, lads. Okay, first off, let's go show you uh, Darren Walsh. Ooh, look at Darren Walsh. Look at him go. Go, son. Go. You're on a youth contract for another year and a half. I know we should probably offer you a full-time contract, but we can't afford it. But you are still trading your rear end off. Look at this. Composure. It's got a whole one next to it. A whole one. Bloop, boom. Look at that. 1.2 jump in one month. His decision making up. His work rate. Ooh, 11.8 to 12.8. I mean, oh, it just looks so good, my friends. He's getting even better at marking. He's up to a 12.8, which we're rounding to a 13. Looks quite tasty, my friends. And then I, I, I just, you know... Every so often, I get this in the uh, the, the uh, news feed in the game. Pep, still with the club. Fifth in the Premier League. Disappointing, right? Right? Maybe you saw it there at the bottom. Beat Real Madrid in the Champions League final. Julian Brandt with the brace. To get them through. 175k a week, 72 million euro signing from Leverkusen. He's done all right, you know. I mean, really, just 8, 10, and 6 goals. He's not, like, lighting it up, but he lit it up in the Champions League, my friends. I just thought I'd point that out. I think I do think it's interesting they are in fifth. And when you look at the Premier League, that's a... I, I'm, I'm really not sure what's going here. How is seventh getting a Euro, uh, Europa League spot? Nobody knows. Really, one game difference between that and the Champions League spot, but that obviously... Or what is... Uh, uh, oh, because oh, they won. But still, like, w the blue throws me off. Like, that goes down much further than I'm expecting it to go down, I guess, is the point I'm trying to make with you, but I'm not making it very well. Um... I did get a new contract, and I know some of you said, like, take the lowest wage as possible... Oh, it's because, okay, I was like, it hasn't gone through yet, because I haven't continued, but I've hit, I, I essentially saved it here so I could remember what to go back to, and then we're going to hop forward, but we're up to 925 a week, and again, I look at it like I, I'm running this as if I were actually the Cabo manager. If they came to me and said, we're going to pay you 925 a week, and I was making 725 a week, I would say yes. So, even though it's going to cost the club more money, maybe the club gets sold, maybe we get some Europa League money and it works out, but I'm treating this as if it were my job. And if someone offered me 200 euro more a week, I would 100% take it. So we took that. I did try to get them to, can we increase the coaching or training facility in that order? Coaching first, then they said no. And I was like, well, they're going to say no to everything, but let's try for the training facilities. And I'm like, nope, we feel like they're good. And I'm like, are, hey, are, are you aware of what our training facilities are? Basic. It's like a dumbbell you know, not it's it's in like a covered shed. It's like open air. You know, like there's there's no training facilities whatsoever, really. Like, really? You think that's fine? All right, guys, we're going to the Europa League, but whatever. Uh, currently untouchable, as you might note. And then the wage budget, they kept it where it's at in the transfer budget 81. So not, none of that was changing, which is probably a good thing because we're in the hole, my friends. We're in the hole. Um, and like I said, the uh, Premier Division has dropped down to the 44th position from the 43rd position, which I think it was last season or the season before that, it went up to the 43rd position. So it's pretty much staying where it's supposed to. But maybe we can make that Europa League run to where, you know, we, you know, we, we're making it all the way. We're going to win it, and that's going to raise the reputation of the league. <laughs> Let's go show you. Now that you're like, can you just show us? Can you just show us? Yeah, I could show you. Hold on just a second. Now, my friends, what I thought was a little interesting, but I... It's just been so long since I've had a team in the Europa League like at this level, right? It didn't do a draw. And my guess is it doesn't do that normally in the game because that would be like a bajillion teams and you just sit here forever on automatic draw waiting for your team to get, you know, pulled. 
So we have pulled a club, and one of the things that I'd like your opinion on is, do we need to start adding in all the European leagues? But, like, if I do that, that's going to make this game go really slow, right? Like, we've got the major ones so that the Champions League doesn't get messed up and all that kind of stuff, right? I can see the Liverpool and Premier Division and our Premier League and all that kind of stuff in terms of their teams. But do I add every single European club if we, you know, if we're going to stay in the, the Euros slash Champions League running, right? Should I do that? Let me know in the comments. Enough waffling, my friends. We have pulled FK Teplice or Teplice or not Teplice. That sounds Italian. Teplice? FK Teplice? I'm sorry if you're a fan of that team. Uh, we do know they have one key player. They pay their players more, theoretically. Um, can we see any more? Oh, see, like, so does this give us an advantage? Probably not. He's worth 1.2. He's worth 950K. They seem to be at a different level, my friends. Oh, my goodness. We're probably going to play direct counterattack against this team. But that's who we've pulled. And that is coming up in July. So we'll have to see what that money looks like. We get the away leg first. Can we nick a goal? And then coming home to Cabo can we can we can we get a result that'd be absolutely massive so we're in the best what is it best place first qualifying round so the abs not, not the absolute first thing but this the, the second thing in the Europa League um and if we win we already know oh it already showed us who we were playing hold on a second it was in the announcement but let me just show you here we would get either KF Shek Shikendija or Glacius United from Gibraltar. I saw an interesting thing about Gibraltar in uh, on uh, Copa 90 or something like that. Uh, and then this one is Macedonia, who just actually uh, voted to change the name of the country. So I should, I wonder if the uh, name packs out for Football Manager have updated yet. So that's who we get, my friends. That's who we get all right i'm gonna hop us forward so we can play ucd it's just one day but you know just save us the time all right my friends here we go did i say we're playing two games ucd and then shelburne in the Leinster senior cup final massive episode right europa league and a cup final and against our rivals a win here could keep us in the running for the champions league spot which would be woo, when you talk about cash money a loss here would be Really devastating, right? Because if Dundalk wins, well, now they're they're right on our tails. We've gone back. I know we've got fans of the three four one two. I know we do. I know we do. I want to try and play our folks in a control possession, but in one that we're a little more familiar with, and kind of covers the whole pitch. So we're gonna try the four two three one. Going back to the control. So essentially it's like the Gagan pressing, except we put the wingers back on their more favored sides, and we put Bernard on support rather than on attack. We'll have to see how that goes. O'Reilly back from injury. Woo, 51%. But Scott Kelly is out with a pulled calf. He comes back tomorrow. I didn't want to risk him. We can always put Holohan up there. We got Zach O'Neill that can come in. Wiltshire can come in. I've got Wiltshire and Joe on the bench in particular because in the press conference I said that I uh, – I. I always it was going to be a tough game, but I always backed my players, and they were like, "Yeah," and I think it was also Gavin that felt that. Oh, Adiyinka, weird thing, weird thing with that. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Adiyinka. Um, after this game, after one of the games, I can't remember. Um, as you can see, it's gotten a little bumpy in the road, right? We, it's not okay. Um, I said, you know, there's points to be won and lost is not very significant to me. And it said his reaction was he was going to prove me wrong. And I'm like, hi. That there's not points to be won and lost. Like, <laughs> I was very confused by your comments there, Eugenia. But is what it is. Um, so we got Captain Jack, Collins, Douglas, Buckley, Holohan, O'Reilly, McGlade, and Gilmore, and Wilkins up, up top. I've left um, Connor Lang on the bench um, just because Klukas is more match sharp and we got Waters. Klukas, leading goal scorer last season. I, I, come on, mate. Come on. Um, also, Ledwidge has been improving quite tastily as well. Look at that. Oh, he's. I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to be worth the 250 a week investment. 
if we can get his concentration past that four. That would be ideal, right? Yeah. So, let me know what you think about the Europa League draw. <laughs> I'm excited, but then I saw the values of those two players. So I was like, ooh. Right. Let's go give these fans their money's worth. This is against our rivals. It's at home. This is like the one time you are supposed to be able to use this. Yes. Okay. Um, let's grab some individuals on the defense here. Hold on just a second. More of the same. All right, people. Yes. Oh, everybody but Gavin Holohan. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that, boys and girls. How do I know you don't work for the UCD team? You're pulling a, uh, a Leeds, right, Bielsa? They've infiltrated the ranks of the journalists, and they're feeding them information about our tactical plans. Gannon. Double teamed. Gilmore, back to Gannon. Gilmore is chasing. Okay, that should have been handled much more easily. He just dribbles around him like it's nobody's business, and McGinnis collects. I'm just checking something here on my other machine. Uh-oh. Just let it go, mate. Just let... Just... Makes you nervous, doesn't it? Okay, he collects. Dinks it forward. Uh, Was that off of the defender or, the, or did Wilkinson go and get that? And then with his 15 finishing, he kicks it right at the keeper. Maybe we should work on his one-on-ones. Maybe, maybe, maybe that one. Poor. Poor. Boo. Boo. Probably shouldn't boo. Our crowd's booing. Hey. Mm. But maybe they're booing them and not our team. Oh, that looked a little too... Hold on a second. You know what? It makes me nervous. Did it change... Oh, uh, not the set piece takers. No, no, no. Oh, I've frozen the game. Have I frozen? Hello? Uh, did it does! Oh, okay, hold on. Let me load all my routines. Alright, we got that sorted. It, I don't know why. It just kind of triggered in my head with that corner kick, with it having gone support. Not that, you know, we're, we've just scored a bunch from corner kicks, but it was like, wait, we changed tactics. And I bet when we changed the tactic, because I, I, like, cleared out the slot. I didn't, like, uh, you know, just move players around cleared out the slot so I was like wait I wonder if that cleared out my set pieces and it turns out it did I'm tempted to go back to the kick and pressing though because they've got some really tired players <clears throat> Wilkinson with another 15 finishing it's not it's not very good there we go there oh see we've drawn nobody away <laughs> with the short short man there short not the short man. The short, you know what I'm talking about. Whoa! Captain Jack kind of clears it. Ayula, who's quite good. We've scouted him. Oh, lots of space there. That's a goal. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think we go attacking. I know it's aggressive. It's early in the game. I want us to get back into it. We might, we might go like, we might gag and press here. I'm just saying they've got tired players. Can we gig and press them to death? It's like, yeah, we uh, we're going to the control tactic. Immediately give up a goal with you know whatever first twenty minutes and exchange everything. Like mm, that's probably why you lose games. But anyway, Wilkinson takes a touch. Finally gets a good finish. I don't even know if that was really that great of a finish, but he kept it on the floor. Kind of hard to get to, maybe. Let's let's watch it here. Let's watch it. Douglas getting the assist. Takes a touch. I, I mean, he definitely got it into the, like, the far corner. So, like, I guess we give him credit for that. I just don't know if that's truly 15 finishing. We're going to close down the really tired people. See if we can make them make a mistake or something. Gilmore's on a 6.5. McGlade's on a 6.5. Oh, my. Oh, my. Let's see how this goes, and then we'll dim in more. Collins. Wilkinson. Okay, he'll line. He's got the winger up there. Can he get it? No, okay. Bernard in support. Now he'll not play it down the line. Thought he was going to do that. O'Reilly with the heavy touch, mate. Oh, okay. That's 51% match sharpness if I've ever seen it. <clears throat> Gilmore decides to run past the man rather than towards the ball, but Bernard is there. I, who, who is that ball going to if you're a UCD fan? You're like, hello? Hello? O'Reilly. Oh, plays in Wilkinson. He's got another great finish. He's got O'Reilly. Wasn't really what we were going for, mate. 
Okay, the ratings have come down on their wingers, so maybe the Gagan pressing is is on is on tap here. Mm, okay, we've created two half chances. They've created one. It's a pretty even game. McGinnis, okay, highlight continues, drills it. Is he gonna pick up Wilkinson? Can he catch him on the run? They let it drop. He takes a touch. Ooh, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just leave it. McGinnis with his, like, second assist of the season? Picks him out. I mean, really, probably should have done better if you're the center back. But, you know, from a, a Cabo standpoint, you're not complaining. What, what is this guy doing here? Just kind of tracking him. Oh, oh, he got past me. Yeah, if you're the UCD manager, like, we had three people, potentially four people back there, standing doing nothing as this guy runs past everyone. Like, hello, hello. Yeah, that's probably the guy with a 6.2 right now. Yes, that is the guy. That's the name. I, I recognize the name. McGlade and Gilmore. My goodness, lads. Maybe we should just switch him to inside forwards. Gannon. Power. He's got some power to his shots. Oh! Kidoki. Collins goes for the slide and whiffs. Dangerous thing going on there. Sorry about that. Okay, Bohemians is what I Dundalk and a draw with Shamrock. Okay. Don't get complacent. That's right. That's right. Get motivated. Don't get sent off. I'm not gonna. I am worried about Jack. I'm not going to lie. Worried about Jack. Worried about Jack. I just feel like he, he could develop more. Now, it's kind of not his fault. We don't have any training facilities. Um, but. Oh, what? We come out of the team talk and now we're apprehensive. Aren't you serious, mate? Oh, doink. I think we might switch. Left winger to right as an inside forward. Bring in Marty Waters on the left as a winger. Because Marty Waters knows this rivalry. He knows it well. So do we bring in the legend? There you go, Gilmore. Uh, that was not what we wanted. Good tackle. Really bad, like, clearance, pass. What, I mean, call it whatever you like. Um, I think that's what we're going to do. Because they're still playing 6.3s. So we'll put him on inside forward. We'll bring in Marty Waters. We'll leave him on support. Yeah, that way he can track back there a little bit. No. No, Marty Waters knows how to score. Let's go. Let's get some confidence, boys. I've left it on attack as well, right? Uh, uh, as the team? Team team attack? Hello? Game? Game? Hello? Oh, they're bringing in Aiden O'Connor for John Colgan. On the light. Okay. He's quite pacey. Yep. Fair enough. Uh, we're not going to demand more just yet. Captain Jack's on a 6.4. Oh, it looks good! Hold ahead! Oh. Every time. I'd like to see one of those where we score instead of just standing on the ball. Going like, huh? Even on the shots we've had more on target, though. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Long. Half, two half chances, one half chance. Nothing has changed on that end, Bernard. Let's, uh, okay. He was drawing the defense in. He thought, he acted like he was going to bobble it. Oh, he, he dribbles around his man. That was actually quite nice. The finish, eh. But I, he made something out of what looked like nothing there, so I'm not really going to complain, going to complain about that. Get the, the words out of my mouth. Okay. Marty Waters. With the, okay. Then he's like, I'm old. I, it took him a while to get up. Maybe we go positive. <laughs> so Marty slide tackles in. And he's like, oh, guys, I'm getting kind of old here. Okay. <laughs> Douglas plays it back. Calm as you like. I just, I just, I just smells like there could be an unfortunate situation going to happen. But that's a lovely little play there by the left back and then and then we slow it down for 
for no reason. Buckley? O'Reilly? Oh, he doesn't have match sharpness. Here he goes! Doesn't matter. Anthony O'Reilly pings it in. 3-1, my friends. 3 freaking 1. Let's watch that little run. Plays him in. O'Reilly takes a touch. Dribbles. Dribbles. Oh, pings it. Lovely. Lovely. They're bringing it. They must have moved... Stuff around. Okay. That's interesting. Because it said he was a young winger, and I'm like, you're playing a bit right back. That seems like a... Interesting thing to do in this situation. <laughs> Um, what do we do here? What do we do here, my friends? I think we're gonna bring Gilmore off just to rest him. We'll come back here. You just be... You just be a defensive midfielder. I think that'll do to start. I'm tempted to bring Gavin off. But I like his pace up top to where, you know, he's that threat. But if we don't really need another goal, right? Let's go ahead. We'll bring Lucas on. You go press, mate. It's what you do. It's it's what he does. It's what he does, lads. This is massive. I feel like we've struggled in games at, at times against UCD. You know, even when they were in the first division... So maybe it's maybe it's the change in tactic going to the control. Maybe they were expecting the gig and pressing. Maybe it's that they're tired. Who knows? But we're going to get out of here with a critical three points. Not dropping any points to your rivals when you're in a battle for the potential top spot. Again, as long as we keep Europa League, I think we're good. But hey, I'm not complaining. If we make it to the Champions League, that's back up the truck with all the money in it, right? <clears throat> O'Reilly on an 8.3, despite not having match sharpness. We'll, we'll take it. Oh, love it. Love it. Just waste the time. Pass it back. Oh, he didn't do it. Oh! Oh, okay. That, now, that's Klukas is rating as a 4, because that was a set to mate. That was... Surely that was a clear chance. It doesn't count it. I... Disagree. Personally. Very happy with the result. Nice job, lads. I'm gonna say, Gavin, we're in control of the game. I, I always, anytime you got somebody that's gonna brace on a 9.0 and you take them off and you're gonna hear about it in the the press it's like hey mate this is why we did it okay so that uh jumps Cork City because they lost and that's good because Bohemian won so we've kept our lead over Bohemian if, if that makes sense and we're still one point off of Sligo this is unfreaking believable uh the game's over to discuss it for all right mate you are great. Yes. All right. I'm going to hop us forward to the Shelburne game. Stick with us. All right, my friends. Interesting update here. We drew with Shamrock Rovers. It was disappointing. Not going to lie. 92nd minute. Kind of chipped it over from the from the from uh, from a very wide position. 18-yard box. Chipped it over one of our guys. Keeper just like barely puts his hand down and it goes in. Uh, but considering we played a very odd formation, I was I'm gonna try and show it to you. Um, so imagine a four four two, but the left back is an inverted wing back here, okay, and we had a winger up here, and then we had uh, let's see, it was kind of like. You're like, what is this abomination? It was like this. Except this was a winger. And we had two up here. So, not really like a 4-4-2 at all, I guess. I don't even... I guess it calls it a 4-1-2-3 DM wingback asymmetric. But we we were trying to rotate, I guess is the point. Wiltshire can play an inverted wingback on defend. And so he played the inverted wing back so we could save Bernard. And then we put uh, Fitzgerald here, O'Neill here. This was a winger. This was uh, Ledwidge. We had 
Connor Lang up top, Klukas, and Waters. So almost like a weird four, four, three, three. Anyway, um, it almost worked and everything until it didn't. But that's not really the exciting news, my friends. The exciting news is that Anthony O'Reilly has extended his loan. I think I told you this a couple episodes ago. I went in for him and was like, hey, how about this uh, O'Reilly guy? And they were like, mm, we're thinking about giving him a run in the first team. And I was like, no, 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 you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. And then uh, I came back and just thought, let's try it. And they said, yeah, you can extend him until the end of the next season. And I was like, done. It doesn't cost us anything. One of our best players locked him up for another season. That is, that's the best news, my friends. Despite drawing, it was it made it okay. Uh, Shamrock also, right before this, let's look at their schedule. Beat Dundalk 7-4 three days beforehand. Now, to be fair, they did have a man sent off in the 74th minute, and they scored... I guess the winning goal after that. One, two, three. No, okay, they scored the 86 minute. But anyway, they they put in a bunch of goals after they went up a man. So I just thought 7-4. I saw that. I was like, whoa, 7-4 is quite the difference. I wanted to play Josh Collins today. I rested him. <laughs> and then I forgot he was cup tied. So if we win today, it's 10 grand. If we lose, it's 5 Let's take a look. 330 in the hole. Just a very brief look. We'll just get off that page because it's quite unfortunate. We get Coveney on the bench, Ledwidge, Wiltshire, O'Neill, Klukas, and Lang. Do, is, is that how we want to go? Is that how? Yeah, Ledwidge can cover the right or the left. He doesn't know either of, of the attacking midfield roles, so make him an inside forward, make him a winger. It's fine. Or we could put Waters. But I like Ledwidge. I like Ledwidge. Put that on a t-shirt. Everybody else is playing. So we're playing the Senior Cup Final today. And everybody else is playing a regular league game. So we'll have to see where we end up after all of this. O'Reilly's match sharpness still has... I mean, I guess we did rest him. But it's like, come on, mate. Come on. They're playing a 4-4-1-1. All right. Uh, you deserve to win the trophy. I expect you to go do it. Why aren't you excited? More of the same tonight, Gavin, please. And that more being goals. To be clear, we want you to score goals. So I'm just thinking, Shelbert, we should be able to, you know, gag and press a first division team. And create some chances based off of that. And then put some of the back in the net. Especially against 4-4-1-1. Right? Like, they've only got essentially two attacking threats and Dominic Bernard has his first goal of the season as that attacking wing back. Interesting. He's usually the one throwing the ball in. That's odd. I guess or Gilmore can do a long through. I, I just, again, I'm just checking. Does it have my... Yes, it does have... Okay. I also like that it wants me to confirm my changes even though I didn't make any changes. Oh, that was, I mean, I like that routine. It comes back out quite quickly. It's back in. He's offside, isn't he? O'Reilly's not offside. It's, 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 it's not offside. I thought he was offside. Because this time, going back to why I checked the throw-ins, I didn't, um, clear the slot. I just changed it from control to gig and press. McGlade zings it in there. It's cleared, but that really, that clearance could have been better, right? You essentially just passed it back out to our, the corner taker. My friends. I wasn't expecting two goals in the first, whatever, eight minutes, nine minutes? I didn't even see the time. Massive episode. I mean, Ted Grant is a drop in the bucket when you're 330 in the hole, but it's better than five. And it's another trophy, which maybe that ups the rep of the club. I actually don't even remember that. Maybe it ups my rep a little bit so we can attract the even better players because they want to come play for the legend that is GHG. Right? I mean, that logically makes sense. We're four for four with two half chances, yet we've got two goals. Clinical. Gilmore doesn't go short corner routine. See, he's mixing it up, right? Like, oh, ooh, they're going to go cover. I do think it's odd that they don't go cover. You know, like you might make that adjustment. O'Reilly. Oh, I can't get it in there. Hold on, though. Collects. 
I thought he was going to take it out wide. He's just going to run backwards. Oh, he's taken down. Dirty. Dirty. The goal against Shamrock was so disappointing to concede. 90 second minute. Douglas heads it over the bar. That was about as... I mean, I think that was a half chance, right? For a six foot three center back slash no nonsense fullback, you get a chance here at the penalty spot. Pretty pretty free and clear chance is what it looked like to head the ball home. You at least get it on frame, right? Murphy on the yellow. Here comes the Gagan pressing, except it was more of like, just let him run. McGinnis collects it easily. Here we go, people. I'd like to get Gavin a goal, personally. Chips forward. Nobody there. Come on, boys. Uh, are you aware of what a Gagan press is, O'Reilly? Close him down. That was, like, the most interesting back pass I've seen in a while. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not as interesting as uh, Wiltshire's chunk back towards our goal. Gilmore, long ball forward. Adienka's there. Heads it across. Oh, McGlade kind of pulled up his run. I think he was trying to stay onside. That was a lovely ball by Adienka. He should have had an assist there. Gilmore. Okay, we'll try it again. Adienka takes a touch. Unselfish. It was shoved by Wilkinson. Adienka, that was... I mean, I think he deserves a rating bump for those, personally. They only had one on target shot. They're one for one. O'Reilly. Buckley through the referee. The invisible man, Bernard, drives forward and then is going to turn and drop it off. But we've opened up space in the middle. Buckley takes a shot. That was lovely stuff there. You see how the defense shifted? And then there was that big gap right down here. And Buckley just... Or... Buckley... I can't... There it is. There it is. Oh, you, you just watch it this way. Stop looking at me. Look at that space. I mean, you could argue Gavin maybe a block division would have been called for an offside. Twasn't to be, my friends. If we can go up four, we're changing everybody that we can at the half. Oh, hold the hand. Hits the... Oh! <laughs> oh, man. That's like one of the other ones that we've scored this season. It was off a free kick. I think I told you about that one as well. I don't think I ever showed it to you, but... Gilmore with a long throw to Wilkinson. We've got everybody just hanging out on that side of the pitch. Holan off the post, but gets the rebound. Poor job by the... He's on a yellow. He's, he's like, he's trying... Oh my goodness, the keeper's on a 5.9. The keeper's on a 5.9. That's not very good, lads. Um, it's time for the rotation special. We're taking Wilkinson off. We don't need goals, so we're taking Wilkinson off. And we'll bring in Klukas. We're going to bring O'Neill on for Hallahan, even though he just scored and has an assist. Gavin picked up a yellow to cement the point home, didn't he? Um, at the end of the game, we may take Bernard off to go like three at the back. Oh, that was a little nervy. More nervy than it needed to be, but that's halftime with 12 shots to there, too. So, I'm just going to say, very. if we get complacent and give up four goals, like, shame on us, right? Um, so, Klukas is going to come in, play a, a pressing forward, as you do. Holan's coming off. Actually, let's go take a look. Who has more games? Can I... Okay. 11. Okay, 13 games total, including. Okay, it's just the. Okay, 13 and 2. And Buckley has got 15, 17 and 4. It says it at the bottom. I just. Just noticed that. Um, so we'll swap him over here. We'll take Buckley off. It makes sense. He's on the yellow. That probably should have noticed that before then, but you know, as you do. And then we'll just take him, O'Reilly, and put him on attack, on the attacking midfielder. So you only, everybody gets up on arms about having more than one play, advanced playmaker or uh, any kind of a playmaker on the pitch. So 
Maybe you clicked off because it was halftime of a 4-0 game. But you never know. Things get, get interesting. But that way we get O'Neal some time. I like that. Nice block there by Douglas. Their keeper is on a 5.9. Yeah, see, the extra ever on attacking set pieces of Burper's United seem to be creating chances for us. I mean, we could try that. We're, oh, no, I didn't see McGlade. What just happened there? Where's the, where's my okay? It's uh it just said, but then of when I clicked on this, it went away, and now it I think it said a bruised ankle. No, or bruised knee? Is it a bruised knee or bruised ankle? Which one is it, mate? Are you okay, mate? Um, I don't have anybody that can play out there. Uh, but we could do that. More of a winger-ish. And we made all our subs. It's not worth it, right? Like, even if it's, quote, just a bruised knee, it is orange. He is down to 66%, and it's like 4-0. Let's get Ledwidge in the game. And we could even actually, because we don't, we don't want to wear everybody down, we'll just go to a control. Yeah, think through these things. I'm thinking, thinking long term, right? Think long term. You can stay home. Don't go running amok. So that's a lot of. I, I realize that that took a while. That took like two or three minutes of actual. Oh, and they they just had a man sent off. Um, but we like we're up four nil. We don't need to go exert ourselves so much. Let's slow the tempo down. Now we're against ten. We got great ratings. Let's just see the game out, right? Like, let's make sure we don't have anything from a get stuck in standpoint. That's good. Nice and easy does it. We'll get out of here with a win. A check for 10 grand minus like 30, 30 euros. Can we get Ledwidge a goal or an assist? Oh, he's got Gilmore. Oh, Gilmore. Ledwidge did everything for you. Put it on a silver platter. All you had to do was pick up a fork. We're going to go for the rare praise, my friends. Let's see what happens. We're 4 0. There we go. Fired up by the feedback. I was about to say, if they get upset about a praise, going to have words. Clucas, though, 6.4, mate. I mean, I know we were up, right? Like, the piece of me kind of understands, but like, come in there and prove that you deserve a shot. I don't understand what has happened to him. He did so well last season. So well. This is an opportunity to go get like some easy goals, right? Ledwidge, is that a, is that going to be a red? Are we going to be up against nine? Oh, it's just a yellow. All that drama for nothing. Okay, O'Reilly with the set piece. We got Jack Ledwich's first goal of the season. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Match Engine. Oh, and that's a left-footed finish from the right winger on the volley. But see, like, this is what I'm talking about, right? Ledwich, you now go like, okay. Like, came in, did what we asked him to do, got himself a goal for the young lad. Klukas comes in, does nothing for 45 minutes, and gets a 6.3. That's disappointing. I don't care that we dominated the game, Klukas. Suck it up, buttercup. So, the next episode, unless I'm wrong, is going to be the first leg of our Europa League trip. Because I do want to take your feedback in the comments on like, hey, this is what you should do in the second... Don't, don't lunge. I thought Zach O'Neill was going to lunge. Um take your feedback as like if it doesn't go well or if it goes well how would you how would you do something differently i like hey, da, 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 this guy right here 19 shots to their three that is a domination my friends you deserve it yes yes i mm, do i tell him I, I am gonna tell him aggressive i'm not pleased with what i saw from you it takes him from he was happy now he's not fine 
you are a 6.3, mate. You can get some tough love. That's a, that, that's a tasty little score line there, my friends. Okay, it's fine. You're fine, mate. He's already resting. Okay. Oh! It must have gone up. Huh. Well, that's nice. Except that they took 40 euros from us. Is the check that big? Is it like, is it the printing cost from the giant check? Like, it costs 40. Come on. I'm just saying, I know it's the Leinster Senior Cup. Okay. Two wins out of three years. Not bad. And we immediately pay out five and a half of it. That's the low setting, too. They give us 13.75. We automatically cut five and a half off of that. So we're at a whopping 312. I guess it helps. Is the How's the board feeling? Untouchable. Uh, how about the f is, uh, match performance? 65% from the fans. They're more excited about us beating UCD than winning the Leinster Senior Cup. And obviously beating Dundalk. Huh. I mean, what else do you want? You'd think that would be higher. You did just win a cup, right? Right? Am I crazy? All right, my friends. It's just going to be one game. FK to please. They are one to four odds favorites. Oh, I just noticed that. They have... Is it because we haven't... It hasn't, like, asked us to set our squads yet? That could be a massive problem here in a second. Um, uh, wait a minute. I was going to let you go, but now I'm kind of go. Okay, so, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. This is going to be a single game episode. What do you think is going to happen? How would you play against a team that's one to four odds and then hasn't decided? When you're away from home. I'm thinking 442 direct counter. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. We'll see you next time. Can we get through? I forgot to show you the table. But I just saw this. I've never had this. There's been no bad performances worth noting in training this week. 741 average rating. It says this is a fairly low level train in the middle of the season. I feel like we've been training all the time. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, what's he at now? Is that going to you? 13.8. It hasn't really gone up, has it? Gavin's marking and crossing's gone down. I'm not worried about it. Composure's up. Good. I really would like this concentration to go up. Um, I think I praised him recently, but he takes the feedback well. Yes. Okay, last thing. Competitions. I don't even know what happened in the other games, but essentially we're three points off top. We're four points clear of third. We're six points clear of fourth and seven points clear of fifth. So, and goodness, it, see, this is how tight it is. We just got to keep doing what we've been doing. We will see you next time.